Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 835. If you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, hey we got a, a data set here on data on the sheet data one. And I want to use this criteria to add conditional formatting to the row. But here's the deal. I want to also do that on this sheet. But for kite, notice the setup is the same on data two sheet as data one and on data three. The question is, is there a way to do it all at once, conditional format? I don't want to have to do it individually. Now, with cells on sheets, you can do something called drill through. So I'm going to click on the first sheet. I'm going to hold the Shift key down and click on the last sheet. You can see that all the sheets are highlighted. If I come here and type rad, Enter. Because all the sheets are selected, that rad goes on to all the sheets. You can see as I click on each one. If I want to deselect them, which is important, when you select them like that, call, this is called drilling through. You got to remember to deselect them. And by the way, it works for formulas, formatting, whatever. To deselect them, you either right click, ungroup, or click on a different sheet. Right? But the question is, is there a way to do that with conditional formatting? No. If you try this, you highlight all these, click on one of them, and I'm going to use its, its home, styles, conditional formatting. It's grayed out. Or if you use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D, it doesn't work. So let's see a workaround. Now, I only have three sheets, so I could spend the time to do it individually. But if you had many sheets, this is a great trick. All right, I'm going to highlight. And the idea is we want to ask each row in this set, does the product column have toy? So we have to, in essence, build a true-false formula. Now, we can do this over to the side and simulate what we will do in the conditional formatting dialog box. I'm going to build a true-false formula. And this, this cell right here is simulating what should be in this cell. Now, this cell, this cell, and this cell all have to look at the toy in row 5 for product. I'm going to lock this using my F4 key. I hit it three times to lock the column reference, but not the row. Because as this formula copies over, it needs to be locked on toy. But when it copies down, it needs to move to boom. And then I'm going to say, is that equal to this? F4 to lock it in all directions. Now I'm going to Control Enter. Now I have these, these are randomizing. This has got a little randomizing formula. But watch this. This is what's going to happen in the dialog box, right? So oh, now I have only one true. If I hit F9 to, to uh, randomize it, you can see that there's a toy, a toy, a toy. So they get true. So this is the formula we use in the dialog box for conditional formatting. Now when I highlight this, I'm going to need this formula. So I'm going to copy it in edit mode, highlight this table. Alt-O-D. Notice because I have one sheet, uh, not multiple sheets uh, selected, I'm allowed to do this. New rule. I want to say formula, and then I'm going to click right there, Control-V. And then I'm going to format it with some formatting like uh, yellow. All right, so now if I hit F9, OK, you can see it's working. Now watch this. Here's the trick. We're not allowed to drill through, but once you do it on one sheet, we're going to use the Format Painter. Now, it does depend that all of the data and criteria on each one of these sheets is set up the same way. Now, watch this. This button, if you click it once, you then click somewhere and it applies it. But if you double click it, it permanently keeps that uh, cursor right there with the paintbrush. Now, I'm going to go over to the sheet. Very carefully, I'm going to click just in the A5. And then I'm going to come over to the next sheet and click in A5. So now you can see that it's highlighting boom. I'm going to click Escape to turn that uh, Format Painter off, Escape. And now when I hit F9, you can see it's working on this sheet for Boom. It's been working on this sheet for Kite. And it's working on this sheet for Toy. So you can't drill through with conditional formatting, but you certainly could do it on one sheet and use the Format Painter button. All right, see you next trip.